Hi, Michael. This is Dr. Murji here from the Vax Vax Clinic. How are you today? From his home, Dr. Latif Murji is part of a dedicated team working to boost COVID-19 vaccine uptake in Toronto's East End and beyond. 16 out of 17 communities in Scarborough were actually COVID hotspots. And we offered this service to our patients where they can call in a confidential judgment-free space. And they found it so rewarding and so many people chose to get vaccinated from this experience that we started broadening out our scope. The VaxFax clinic seeing gradual success months after launching. Person by person, one call at a time, the team, made up of family and emergency doctors and various specialized physicians, has spoken with around a thousand people. Different people have different comfort levels and there's a lot of reasons why people might have mistrust in the healthcare system in the past and it's our role as physicians to be there to communicate that information, to be a trusted source and to help walk patients through the facts. Through those conversations, Murji says around 80% of the patients the team has spoken with have chosen to get vaccinated. Now more than 11 months since vaccines were first approved for use in Canada, efforts to address vaccine hesitancy continue to go strong. We're here not only to provide vaccine, but of course information and promote health. Dr. Mar Lin and others at the Black Creek Community Health Centre have been focusing on accessibility, visiting malls and community centres. He says representation matters when it comes to who is providing information and can help if it's coming from someone familiar. They know that when they see me, they're getting valuable advice, information that's non-biased and is reflective of people in the community. So I'm fully aware of the fears. Across the city, 84.5% of eligible residents have received both COVID-19 vaccine doses, short of the overall goal of 90%. Toronto's Medical Officer of Health saying during her weekly briefing, the final stretch is always the hardest, calling for patience and direct outreach. Making sure that people have access to vaccine, bringing vaccines to places where people live and work and play, this has really been a very substantive and has made a huge difference in our vaccination efforts, so you're going to continue to see us do that. We'll have more on this story and community resources on our website, toronto.citynews.ca. For City News, I'm Nick Westall.